Well, hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, as you can see, Mr. Baby Turkey's here. He's still got some injuries from the dog, but he also has injuries from the new Rhode Island Red on the other side, and I actually took some of the spray-on wound treatment, the purple stuff, and sprayed his wound and moved him from over there in with the younger ones in this middle pen. The, those Rhode Island Reds, I don't know. They uh, don't want to say anything negative, but let's just say they pick on others and uh, end up, the previous owner was losing one every few days, and I believe it's because these birds were picking on them and killing them and eating their own, basically. So they picked on the turkey, and I'm trying to get him well. And they actually killed one of the baby Rhode Island Reds, the smallest one that was in, in that pen with them. So I removed my ones I hatched and put over here and just left Sue in there with the older but not grown Rhode Island Reds that I purchased. And, you know, I'm keeping their feeder full. I'm throwing scratch out when I let them out. And the honest, honestly, today is the first time I've really seen them spread out into the run area when I let them out. So I'm hoping they will learn to, you know, be a chicken and not be so aggressive and eat their own, so to speak. But if they don't, they'll probably all go to freezer camp. Because, uh, you know, can't have chickens if they're going to be killing each other. So, And I hate it that it's the breed that I wanted, but I don't know if I can feed that out of them. Look at there. I'm wondering how many of these black sex links are going to be hens and how many are going to be roosters. But other than losing the one smallest Rhode Island red and them picking on the turkey, all the, all the birds seem to be doing well. My son-in-law was supposed to come over and help me catch them, you know, out of the pen and um, clip one wing. But... He forgot about it, and of course, bow season opened up in southwest Georgia, and he's an avid hunter, so he texted me today and said, man, I completely forgot. I apologize. He said he's off Wednesday and Thursday. He's going to try to come one of those days, and uh, we're going to try to get all these wings clipped because I still have the black hen flying over the fence. She, she jumps over into the middle pen, and she chases everybody away from the scratch, and then she chums back over into this one. But uh, I didn't film it, but I wanted to see Mr. Tom out there, the Tom Turkey. That's the dominant one. That's the one with the most of the black. He he's, he seems to be the boss. Um, yesterday, when I was out here just watching them, when I let them all out, man, him and Junior kept going at it, kept going at it. <coughs> Excuse me. And Junior was holding his own. And then the other male turkey got involved, and it was two on one. And then both females got involved, and it was four on one. And Junior kept taking up for itself. But uh, he's not going to beat all four of them. But um, he still doesn't back down from them. He just doesn't doesn't kind of... <laughs> Don't let them trap him into a corner. But yeah, yesterday I should have got my phone out and, and recorded it. But they were fighting right here around the apple tree. And uh, he was doing pretty good taking up for himself. But once it became four on one, they were backing him into the corner. And he he got out of the corner and he's, he's learned not to let them put him in that corner anymore. The, the funny thing is, even though... I, see, he's trying to strut over there. He doesn't even have all his tail feathers, but he's trying to strut. But um, <laughs> Junior roost up on the roost for the turkeys in there with them. So he's not scared of them at all. 
Now, if the hens get up there next to that dominant turkey, the dominant male, he'll peck at them and make them get off the roost. And they'll go, you know, jump down and fly up to another section. But uh, he is the dominant male in there. But Junior don't take no crap from him either. But I just wanted to do a video and let y'all know I did lose a, one of my baby Rhode Island Reds there. But um, the other three are healthy. And basically, I'll walk in there and show y'all. Hang on one second. So basically what I'm learning is when you've got babies in with aggressive birds whether they're the same age or older you need to give them a place to hide so you see how i got that board leaned up their nesting box that gives the, the smaller babies a place to get in and hide and they also get up under that nesting box but um i did the same thing over here on the bottom roost after they killed the little one and that was working but they were hanging out up under there so just an idea for any of y'all that have chickens or might get chickens give the babies a place to hide that they can rest and get away from being picked on and uh, that seems to be working but uh anywho everything else is going well he says he's going my son-in-law says he's going to come back this like i say wednesday or thursday i did move the feeder from the middle over that way a little bit because it was right directly under the roost that I put up for them turkeys and basically they were filling it full of poop and uh, I don't know about y'all but I wouldn't want all that poop in my food so I moved it over and uh, filled it all of them up I'm going to go inside and get my spray bottle with my bleach water in it and my brush and come out and scrub both waterers um, before it gets dark on me today but um <laughs> They, they need cleaning again, but all of them seem to be doing okay. So I'm going to get off here. See, there's some in the, in the pen, and then there's been about 10 of them hanging out out there. But Sue, even though he's not aggressive, he's much bigger and older, and I think they know he's the boss. I haven't seen them pick on him at all. So we'll see how it all works out. Y'all remember what I always tell you. Jesus Christ loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.